This video covers depalletization of our ramp systems. Remove the banding that secures the palletized ramp system. Remove and sort the inner handrails, then store them in a safe place. Switchback ramp systems will include extra loop inner rails as well as switchback adapter inner rails. Remove and sort the picket guards. Store them in a safe place. Remove the wedge picket guards that are stacked on top. Remove the ramp section picket guards that were stacked underneath the wedge picket guards. Remove the platform picket guards next. Store the picket guards that were stacked for later installation. Remove the ramp wedge, then place it in the appropriate location. Remove the ramp sections from the stack one at a time. Ramp sections are stacked in leg height order. Remember the stacking order when storing ramp sections. Remove the ramp platform's legs, cover posts, and inner support posts. Store them in a safe place. Remove the ramp platform. Store the ramp platform for future assembly. Keep track of the leg size stored with this ramp platform. If your ramp system is a switchback ramp, then you will have two more additional platforms. Remove the switchback platform with its legs and cover posts. Be sure to keep track of what size legs came stowed with this platform. Remove the second ramp platform with its legs, cover posts, and inner support posts. Make sure to remember which legs were stowed between the joists of this platform.